I was walking by here the other day and I noticed that there's this art show going on. What I found really amazing was talking to one of the artists. It's recording now. Oh, that's good. I'm really very, very happy to be in front of a piece of Google Glass. Uh, my name's M. Henry Jones and I'm a 3D photographer and animator. And if we look further into the gallery, we can see my most recent work, which is three-dimensional portraits. And this is a picture of Robert Frank. He is one of the preeminent photographers of the world. The picture of Roger de Montebello here. This picture I took of him in 1985 with a camera that we built together. Are you going to make one of me? I think that what we should do is we should photograph Boonsi with the Google Glass, and we'll turn it into a big fly's eye, and then the hip thing about it is it'll be a portrait of the newest technology with the newest technology. Right, the fly's be... eye meets the... the Google Glass. So you'll shoot me? Yeah, I don't know. Mark, well, yeah, and who's the artist? Well, in a couple days, you, where you yeah, plan also. Here, she's here. got the Google Glass. And she's got the Google Glass. Yeah. I like that. He loves the Google Glass. <laughs> well, actually, my theory is that writing is going to be replaced with video. I've heard that argument. And in fact, people are sending pictures of themselves instead of text messages. I'm familiar with that. Yeah, because I figured out how to make it a one-person production. And when you do that, it's the same thing you do as you're writing. So. I need to think about that. We assembled it. Well, you think about it, and I'll let you try this on. Hello, Glass. Okay, Glass. Glass, you can you keep on telling me the time. I know the time. <laughs> okay, Glass. All right, Glass. Take a uh, picture. Take a picture, Glass, please. I did. <laughs> Thank you. So now we're going to go to his studio. I love animation. I've been doing it since I was 12 years old. <laughs> What do you love about is it? Is that running? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> you walk, work down the street like that? I love the Google Glass. <laughs> so this is uh, Snake Monkey 3D. It's kind of neat to see all these dolls. This is how we do the 3D photography now. We uh, have this rig that goes all the way around you, but we have to clean up the studio to do a photo. And then they have to sit exactly underneath this uh, uh, point. So we put the camera on and weights it down so it doesn't move at all. And then we go around the figure like this. So we take the pictures like, you know, like click, 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 click. And we get about uh, 28 photos. It is so amazing that we were able to get this caliber of a lens screen. Is anyone else doing this? No, this is, I am the only person that knows how to make the screen because I spent so, seven years okay, learning. Greedy. And um, here, here's yes, a picture of it right there. New, bigger, really hard to make image screen. We've used this screen on the Molly Alien. Now that big Our screen is made up of six of those parts. That I show. And then we had to file them all down and fit them together and pour like a silicone rubber mold. I don't do the work alone, and I don't take credit for doing the work alone. I have my friend Keith Lubell. He's a computer wizard. And he wrote the program that we built our Fly's Eye camera on. I couldn't do this work if it was me alone. This is our killer baby. This is our latest. That someone was saying to me, are we going to do only picture the people? And this was a people, but it's a sculpture. This is an art piece that was done by Kylie Jenkins that we recently fixed up. We work with a lot of animators. That's awesome. Yeah. I look so serious. <laughs> Cross-eyed. That's good. Okay, good. Here we go. Oh, uh, wow. Again, just for just a little mm. more. That's it. And then just wow. to... That's good. That's, good. That's really That's good. nice. All right, hold it right there. Just hold it. We're going to go with this. That's good. It is a live view of what it's like to have someone run a camera around your face uh, like nine inches away of shooting pictures and you can't move at all. Right. Good. That's good. I think that was that the was one. Better. Really. It was better. 
You really were like so solid. You were solid. And also you and had a nice smile. I but it wasn't. And something, whatever we did when we kicked the light, it just made a really nicer highlight. And do you think that you have a good smile there? Like, yeah, it's you know, more about you. It was good. Very good. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> I'm going to make you the good. first Google Glass model. Yep, you already are. Yeah, it's already done. Very cool. The blind's eye 3D. It's quite big. Before, the thing was about the size of my actual head, but this thing is gigantic, so we'll see how it works. Hello. Hey. Hey, Boonsby. I'm excited How are we to doing? See, I'm good. I'm excited to see my huge Your face. picture looks so good. It's probably the best 3D fly's eye picture we've made so far. Why is it good? It is good because it's big and the focus is right on the Google Glass. It's like perfectly in focus. It looks great. It's engaging. Whoa! That's so big! Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. It looks so 3D. It's like I have a bigger twin. So I like the fact that when you're looking at the Google Glass, you see a person that's doing something sort of unique. They're kind of looking a little bit off into space, but you can tell you're concentrating. So it's like a person in two places, and that kind of reads. And I think that that's really important, too. I can't believe it. My nose. That's your nose. My other eye. And the Google Glass, the star of the photo. Okay, so here, when we place the screen on the photo, it reintegrates all those images into one three-dimensional picture that is quite depth-oriented to make a good 3D photo. Fly's eye. 